Welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Guys, I'm super excited today to bring a side-by-side -side comparison between the Aorus Master RTX 3090 and the Asus Tough OC RTX 3090. So the Tough OC edition, which is, says here, has a bit more grunt to it, a tiny bit than the normal Tough gaming. And the Gigabyte Aorus Master is the one step down from their best which is their Eorus Extreme. So the, this this is not by any terms a slouch. It, it is it is a good comparison to the Tough. The Tough is quite good card as well but the Tough is more streamlined. So it, it is a st step down from Azus's Rogue Strix lineup but it's no, not got any bells and whistles like this guy. It's more like an Eagle but it's better clocked than an Eagle. So first of all, I've got a, a few steps. So what we'll do is side by side box comparison and want what you get inside it. Then we'll do a side by side for the GPU. Let's get the boxes started. So as you can probably see quite clearly, the Aorus Master box is just heaps bigger, okay? So if you stand these up, if you stand these up, this is what you're looking at. Look at how thin that this guy is and look at how big this is. And also, I like, I quite like the Eorus Masters unboxing experience. If you want to see the proper unboxing and what you get inside the box, you guys can have a, a click up top right hand corner. But this is the box that you get. Okay, and also looking at this guy, this is the box you get, look at that, okay. Alright, to look inside it, please do click up top right hand corner. By watching more videos, you're supporting my content and making sure that I can produce more videos like this. Okay, let's look at the cards side by side. This is why I think it's so important to support the AIBs. They do such a phenomenal job, you know. The Founders Edition is smaller than this this guy over here, the Azus Tough Gaming OC, all right? And this is the Eorus Master. As you can see, there's, there's a night and day difference between the size of both. It starts off over here if I hold it and it finishes about here so it's got a massive chunk over there when we're looking at it from the top down next to each other you can you can see the Aorus Master is well chunky it's a really chunky boy look at that okay and that's the side by side comparison and let's look at the back as well the back of the card all of this is RGB back here this guy only gets this as RGB, that's it. This is not known for RGB. The Tough Gaming is just a really no frills, good gaming card that if you wanted it, I don't have a problem with the Tough. If you really want it, go really good. For Azus, they have the Rogue Strix and these guys have the Eorus Extreme. So Eorus Extreme is another step up above this guy. So let's look at the close up of this guy. Nice fan, not too heavy, okay. HDMI, some display ports. What do you guys think? I really like how Azus has a very air flowy design to this. As you can, guys can see, you can have air blowing out of here, you can have air blowing out of there, you can have some of the air dissipating from here, even out from here, okay. From up here, that's really a very well thought out design. This is why I love Azus. Let's look at this chunky boy over here. Now looking at this guy, it's RGB galore. So it's got RGBs here. It's got an LCD screen RGB over here. RGB over here, here. You've even got an RGB over here. All right, no RGBs down here. Yeah. Let's look at this card. So it's really heavy and really, really chunky, okay? So first of all, 
nice opening here and I would have liked to see a bit more but I guess that's enough and opening in the back that's really good to see as well again this opening is not as airflowy as the tough there and the back isn't as perforated and open when it comes to oh, one more HDMI port over this guy but I think that has more than enough now this has a performance and a quiet mode as well which is over here and it, it, you can barely see it but it's written over here and the thing that I don't like about it is it's blocked here there's not it, it needs air to be pushed out of it although having said that when I am overclocking this card it overclocks really really well I don't have any issues with it at all, at all. I don't have any compl complaints about it as well it's a really good card that can easily overclock and it does a phenomenal job you can you can customize this LCD you can put different information on there a gif anything you want so it's really customizable one thing that it does get let down by is gigabytes software gigabytes software is horrible to deal with it's oc software and all that i use msi's afterburner on here to do most of the things the rgb um i to yeah i won't get into that Check my review of this card up top right hand corner. Go through my channel. I've got a lot of, but yeah, it's not, not the best. Anyways, guys, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know. Give me some ideas. Let Comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on both cards. What should I do with them? Also, remember to super thanks. Even a dollar. That just helps out. Makes sure that I can continue my work. Thank you for watching it to the end. Take good care. Bye-bye.